welcome back to my channel and welcome back to 31 days of wicked which is almost over um today i am going to be using a collection from hello waffle cosmetics check that out labels so cool on these guys they came out with a limited edition set of one two three four five shadows i think they called it um a waffle ween or something like that um i don't know if they're still available when i checked the site there hadn't been live for long and the set was sold out these were individually available so couldn't hurt to go look i will link it down below if it is still available um they all of these shadows were super easy to work with no problems with them at all really really liked them a lot um they also came out with six lipsticks. <laughs> Oops. They came out with six lipsticks, which I will be swatching for you guys at the end of the video. And do not forget to check out the video that describes the giveaway we are doing. It's awesome. It's badass. Um, the prizes are going to be excellent. We are going to be announcing those. And I'll be showing you on my channel on the 31st the two limited edition sets that we are giving away. So, yeah, go check out that video and it will explain all the details on how you can enter. So stay tuned for all that good stuff. And, yeah. That's all I have to say. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes using Urban Decay's Primer Potion and Sin, followed up with Concrete Mineral Electric Eye Primer. The first shade I'm going to be using is going to go in my crease, and it's called Photo Negative. It's just um, a pretty deep purple with a bit of shimmer to it, not too much. I'm going to be using that on a Volume Tools 783 brush. Blending it into my crease and the outer portion of my eye. Going over that with a Dylan Tool 785 just to diffuse it. The next color is called Shapeshifter and it's a really interesting color. It's a greenish brownish gold kind of color <laughs> and I'm using that on the same brush and putting it all over the first shade and kind of blending them in together. Once again just blending out the top. Now I'm going to take Geek Shades Power Up Primer because I'm using three primers today. Scooping a little bit of that out, rubbing it on the back of my hand and putting that on my lid. The next shade is called The Waltz, and it's a very, very sparkly, um, beautiful purple. Probably my favorite out of this whole set. And, um, any flat shader, this is the Delium Tool 777 brush. I'm gonna pat that all over my lid. I'm gonna be going back and putting some more photo negative in my crease to deepen it up. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to be using Burlap Sack. This and the next shade are very similar. They just have different dual chromes to them. You're not going to be able to see it here too much from the shade, but they're really, really pretty. And I'm just going to tap that all in here with this. The last shade I'm using is called Static, and this is going to go in the center of my lid. We are going to do that by taking some of Notoriously Morbid's Shadow Bind and taking a very small dab and rub it on the back of my hands to make a thin, thin layer and just put it over the center of the very layer. You can use any fluffy brush for this. This is Sedona Lace 407 Angle Brush and I'm going to get a bit of that. Tap it off really well because I don't want too much. Now I'm going to use the original lid shade that we used and just blend around it. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going really simple with the Kat Von D shade and light palette. This guy right here. Touching up that green shimmery shade in the crease because I don't want to lose it completely. 
For my lower lash line, I'm going to start out by using Urban Decay's 24-7 pencil. This is in Cuff, and it is just a, um, it's a silver. <laughs> and I'm going to run it from my tear duct all the way up. Then I'm going to go into Static again on that small Royal and Land Nickel brush that I like to use so much. And once again, that is what it looks like. Super exciting, I know. And I'm just going to take that from here and run it about halfway. Then I'm going to use Photo Negative for the rest of the lash line. Make sure those are smudged in together really well. I'm going to be coming back to that in just a minute. I'm going to tight line, water line with Urban Decay's Smoke Out. For my top liner, I'm using Kat Von D's ink liner. Um, no surprise there. This is in Bukowski, which is a deep force green light color. And I'm just going to create a standard wing with a little tiny subtle point here. Nothing too spectacular. Clouds, bro. Okay. Um, my next step. My next step is going to be glitter. Yes. Nope. Not glitter. There's a step before glitter. The step before glitter is. I remember. I'm gonna use Urban Decay's 24/7 liquid liner, and this one is in Revolver. I'm running that up along this wing. And it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm bad at perfect. So, yeah, always use a pointed Q-tip the majority of the time to make it look good. Just touched up the lines from both the green and the silver. Now for the glitter things. I used this Sephora glitter liner in uh, evening blue. Got blue and green and awesome in it. That's what it looks like. Taking that along my lower lash line where the silver liner stops and then stopping uh, three quarters of the way in and then I'm gonna blend it a little bit with brush so it all looks you know like it belongs together. I'm also touching up that highlight color because that just completely disappeared on me. I'm gonna clean up the outer edges of the bottom of the lash line with the pointed q tip and some makeup remover. Look at all that business. You. I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara on this eye. I'm using the Makeup Forever Smoky Stretch Mascara. I don't really like this stuff, but it works if, you know, you just put lashes on, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm going to use this, and then I'm going to put on lashes, foundation, all that stuff, and then we'll be back to do the rest of my face in just a moment. Okay, now for the face things. I am going to use from Hello Waffle, uh, Regina. Take a look at that. Yep. Gonna use that as my contour. I assume this is named after Regina the Evil Queen. But so I used three different brushes to blend that with. Um, my trusty wing gas brush, check out a powder brush, and finally the Sephora like this is dense and just and this is the fifth time I have tried using this I tried it with different foundations I've tried it um, I mean my face 
makeup, my foundation, which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin today, um, and regular setting powder. Like, it's been set for over 15 minutes. So, there isn't any reason this should be happening, but it's patchy. It's, I almost have to, like, blend it out with my fingers when I'm done, um, to get it to, and I'm using the tiniest amount of product, so it might look okay on camera now. It might not. I don't know. We'll see. But that's the best that I could do. And I promise you didn't see all the blending I did because then this video would be really long. It's a shame because I think that it is an awesome color for an intense contour. I don't mind the color of it. I just don't want like a line that I can't blend out. That really, really bothers me. For blush, I'm using one of the brand new Notoriously Morbid blushes and it's called Pygmy Puff. It's purple. And just really quick, I'm going to show you the other colors they came out with. Halloween blushes. Pretty awesome. You guys should check these out. Um, I just got them in the mail today, but I have a lot of their other face products, so I already know I love them. Um, let me find a brush. Beautiful. It's like, um, yeah, a purpley, kind of like a lilac color. I really, really like it. I'm going to take a Sedona Lace 313 highlighting brush, or contouring brush, I'm not sure what they consider it, and use um, one of Notoriously Morbid's new highlights from the same collection. I can't remember the name of the collection, the mix -up. It's like a magical collection. <laughs> it's called Wood Nymph. And I swatch this on my hand. Oh my god, you guys. I'm going to swatch it for you now. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's just give it a moment. <laughs> and they have two other ones, so excitement. I love weird highlights with cool dual chromes. I think they're awesome. I like it. Now for lips, Hello Awful came out with, in addition to the shadow set, they came out with a set of lip lipsticks. <laughs> and they all seem to be, I mean, just at first glance, I haven't swatched them, but different shades of like mauve and purple. And the one I am going to be using is a ready burgundy-ish type color, I think, I think, we're gonna find out, and it is called The Keyhole. So, not exactly as it appears in the tube, but I probably should have swatched these first. Uh, while I'm at it, I am going to swatch them for you, so you can see what they look like. This one is Keyhole, that I have in my mouth. And this next one is called Rotted. Awesome name. This looks like a nude-ish type color. Kind of like a pink nude color thing. Um, next one is called Staircases. I like that. They, they came out with a bunch, I'm telling you. Portraits. Maybe this is the one I should have worn with these eyes, probably. This one's a lot more sheer than the other ones, but it is really pretty. We have Outstretched. There's Outstretched right there. I like that one. And Slit Mouthed. This is also a little bit sheer. Slit Mouthed is on top, so... Those were the six colors that they came out with for Halloween. They do go on, at least this one went on, really opaque. So, not quite the color I expected, but I like it, so it's okay. BRB, I forgot to put lashes on. Oops. That's better. Okay, guys, so this is it. This is the finished look. Let me just zoom in for a second. Here on the eyes. So you can see a little bit better. Hopefully you can see. That's how it looks. 
thank you so much for watching and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out Amber's video. Don't forget to go enter the giveaway which ends on the 31st. You don't want to miss it. And until next time, I will see you all later. Bye.